Hello guys, and welcome back to yet another episode of Heroes of Might and Magic 3, Horn of the Abyss. Last time, our beautiful Jeremy was able to capture one of the pink towns, and Casmetra was an absolute bully and has already destroyed the Tatalian fort. And now all that remains is to clear out the rest of the map, I feel. And we need to capture Darjim, basically. It should be easy enough to do at this point, I, f I hope, as long as he doesn't have an insane army. Which I feel like he might have, by the way, Uasius. Because it definitely looks like he has some decent stats, so I'm going to assume that he is definitely here somewhere. So I have to be careful that I don't lose my Jeremy. So that's why we're going to send our Leonis up, and yeah, let's get right into it. So then I believe, let's just kind of explore... That is easily doable at this point, I feel like. Hopefully that should give us two angels. That would be fun. Okay, we have the Redwood Observatory. Hello. Elmore is trying to make a run for it, it looks like. Interesting. Okay, there's another island over here. There's a portal. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, what's our Cassiopeia doing? It is a new day, so I suppose we can grab some army. Will I be able to get the army across over to Tark? No, I won't. So then I believe I'll just collect the army and head on over. Yeah, unfortunately I don't reach. So then we can wait until which um, I can continue exploring with Sylvia, but then which direction should I go? Let's have a quick look. Does anyone have view air? I don't. I do have view Earth, so then I can... Um, I assume... Right, so there's Tan over here, which we know, because they have flagged all these mines. And we know that it's only accessible through the small gap over here, which is also fine. So then, what is Casmetra pushing up to next? She's going to be going up here and then kind of sailing across. So I suppose... Sylvia can explore these lands and kind of scope out what's to expect over here, I suppose. There's a lot of shipwrecks. Okay, so far so good. And I believe Casmetra can just go on ahead instead of flagging the mine, because that's just a waste of time. But before I go any further, I definitely would like some reinforcements, so I believe... Let's go for Uvacious. And then let's grab all the flies that we can. And then we're going to leave these guys behind. And then Uvacious can transfer this army over to our Casmetra. Like so. Place over here. Elishar can grab the army from Uvacious. And then transfer it over to our Casmetra. I'm pretty sure that's taken, so I'm not going to even try. Now Casmetra can continue moving forward with this army. Okay. And let's move this way. Don't care about the sprites which cover the sulfur, so let's skip that for now. Did it say that this is the last campaign, by the way? This is the last mission in the campaign. Okay, interestingly enough, so... Let's skip these mark camps for now. I don't think having that extra attack skill for now is going to be much help. So, I definitely would like resources, so I'll do that. As in gold. Gold is definitely going to be useful. Can I kill? Yes, I can. So then I believe... I move first anyway. So bless is definitely the cast. Let's kill you. Let's move these down. Then let's move him across over here. Oh, that morale though. Well, that sucks. That's fine. I don't mind losing a few. That's okay. Um, let's go this way so that we can hit the flag. And then, ooh, a dragonfly. That's interesting. That's definitely useful. So then Uvacious can probably head back inside to grab some wyverns for me. Interesting. And then Jeremy is going for those boots, interestingly enough. <laughs> Am I strong enough for these? 
I think I am, interestingly enough. Alright, let's go for it. Do I wish to retreat? No, I don't. Okay, that should be quite easy, actually. Especially for the cannon. I think the cannon will be able to one-shot these comfortably. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> That's just insane. That's absolutely insane. Anyways, we defend. Let's move these girls down a little bit. Okay. It's fine. Oh, that morale. Rough. Um, let's get rid of you. How much damage do I do? I kill 4 to 8. That's nowhere near good enough. So then I believe it's time to start magic arrowing a few of these. Okay. I do kill. So then bless, kill, shoot. Okay. I believe I defend right now. Defend, defend. Let's move these girls away so that they can lure some of these in the other direction. And I believe I bless here, and then I wait. Let's move you up, move you back. Then move these girls to the back so that they can distract for a little bit. Awesome. Amazing. Good stuff. And then we can kill you. And then we can magic arrow you and get rid of you. Defend, and let's continue pulling them back a little bit. I'll wait, defend, move back. And that's GG's. EZ. Oh my god, that was the easiest sandals of my life. <laughs> well, okay. And we can continue. Um, am I going for the griffins immediately? I don't think so. Because I do not have my cannon immediately. Unfortunately. I believe I can send my Loinus in like so, so that he doesn't die immediately. Mm, Jeremy can wait for extra reinforcements. Okay, so then let's get a new hero if we can, actually. Where's Tark pushing towards? Tark, I believe, is pushing towards helping Jeremy, I believe. Yeah, Jeremy, need, Jeremy definitely needs some reinforcements. And I definitely would like to get this lighthouse, actually, on the way. So then, kind of, let's explore these water... Oh, hello! Mm, do I want the Red Tower? There's a shipwreck. Okay, well, let's do this. Easy. And then... Let's continue to explore a little bit. Okay. You know what? Sure, let's do it. And let's get some reinforcements like so. Elishar can grab the crystal mine. That is good. And Jeremy is not pushing forward until I get some reinforcements, so I believe I'm getting rid of my Uvacious over here. Mm, or am I getting rid of my Loinus? Yeah, I don't think I need him anymore, so then let's get rid of you. And then let's get another hero over here immediately. Corx or Korbak? I believe Corx is the definite choice. And an Annabelle, hello. Unfortunately, she doesn't have any army. But that's fine by me. This is gonna be pretty interesting, because if he decides to turn around, I wonder what his stats are like. He definitely has speed priority, so... That's going to be of concern, for sure. So you just have to play a little bit carefully. So that's what the stats for the Tan looks like. And Kingdom Army strength-wise... Seems like Darjum has Haspids already. Interesting. Right. Um, I hope he doesn't come out immediately. I'm not sure. If he decides to come out of these portals, I'm going to be in a world of trouble. <laughs> I think I might have made a mistake of being really aggressive too early. Too aggressive too early. That might be a mistake. But let's see. Let's see if you're rewarded or if you're going to be punished for this. Um, we have a good stack of army by now. Let's 
let's do it like so and we move Jeremy can move on ahead and then Corks can get back into the town all right what else can we do right now we can build up to a city hall which is great and then we can start building up towards the maelstrom over here and for that we need a capital but we'll be building a capital over here right well neither of these towns have a castle interestingly enough okay in which case I believe let's go for a citadel that's fine and then we can should I send my Cassiopeia out into a boat as well I wonder exploring these waters will definitely be useful let's have a look what's over here actually okay and first things first let's get this for our Tark hmm I believe this is doable actually <laughs> oh my god that was easy and that's one firebird for us ladies and gentlemen welcome welcome basic navigation oh that's really useful actually do we have summon boat we do not do we have summon boat over here we do not either interesting well then um, Cassiopeia you unfortunately have to do it the old-fashioned way which is fine Kesmetra can continue pushing up this way do I care about a gem mine? I don't think I do actually don't think I care about that gem mine then I believe I'm pushing straight up and then I think I'm gonna keep my army as is okay let's go for it it wasn't too bad I do move first so then I can slow them down immediately and then go in for the top stack like so okay these morales are definitely not helping right now um sure let's move you over here and then let's move him down here okay that's a great morale hmm how many how much health do I have eight you know what I'll defend and then I believe this is a beautiful frost ring over here could immediately frost ring and kill everyone so then instead we're gonna wait and then we're going to shoot and then now I'm going to res our ladies back very good and then the flies can go for you and then at this point I believe I haste my nymphs and then I'm gonna kill these fortunately I lose one that is okay Okay, don't lose any over here, which is awesome. And we can do one more res. And GG's. Okay. And ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> just like that, we have a bunch of wyverns. Oh my god. This is just going to be insane. The pace of army growth is just going to be absolutely insane. So then most likely my best build at this point is a wyvern monarch. Yeah, let's do it. It does mean that I have to send my wyverns back though which means I have to do it something like this so that Elishar can grab the army and then transfer it down Uatius can head on back this way so that he's positioned to grab the army from Elishar how far does he reach actually um, exactly that much actually perfect the new issues should be able to reach and then we can get another hero and send them out perfect in the meantime seems like this guy does not want to push past the vampire lords that's funny 
<laughs> That's why he's just stuck over here, huh? Interesting. So then corks can go back inside. Sylvia can continue scoping out the place. Oh, hello. That's an interesting town. I wonder if we can build up to Archangels. Hello. Okay. Resources, yes please. And then Cassiopeia, if you would be so kind to get into the water. Uh, I suppose she can only get into the water next turn. Yep. That is a pity. And I believe I'm ending my turn. Not yet, actually. I should probably... I mean, at this point, I should probably, since I'm waiting, I should probably just go for the Sea Witches. So our cast, as you guys are very well aware by this point, is going to be Forgetfulness. And then it's just easy mode at this point. I believe I want to get rid of these. As many as we can, I guess. And then maybe slow comes out. Okay, that's an interesting position. I believe it's time to move away. That morale was awesome. Let's see if we can get a really good frost ring. Oh my god, that's a pretty decent frost ring. Okay. Frost ring and GG's. That was easy enough. And then Casmetra can maybe push this way and check it out, I believe. We can grab some extra nymphs. That's beautiful. Okay. And then I believe. Can I go for the Consai immediately? I wonder. 20 to 49 griffins and a pack of royal griffins. You know what? I think I do. I think I do push for this immediately. So then let's do it. Oh my god. Auto wins this comfortably. Wow. That is absolutely insane. So then I believe my cast is going to be slow. Interestingly enough. And I move myself away. Let's move you up up, move here, and let's get rid of you, make sure she, he doesn't reach, seems like he does reach though, one, two, three, four, so it's like one, two, three, four, I don't think he reaches my nymphs, hopefully, okay, that's good, It's really good, let's shoot you down, let's move these over there, And then let's get rid of these guys. Okay, good stuff. Defend and get rid of you. And that's pretty much GG's. And we suddenly have some angels right now. <laughs> insane. Absolutely insane. Welcome angels. Welcome to the army. You guys are very welcome. And let's immediately go for the churchyard, actually. Mm, get some resources, because that's definitely needed. Amazing. And Uvacious is in position. And are we building anything this turn? Mm, we could. We could go for a fort immediately, interestingly enough. Let's have a look. Don't think I definitely don't need this many crystals or gems. So then, yeah, let's build a fort immediately. And then, can we build into anything over here? Not really. I need the Tower of the Seas. So day three, four, five. That should be fine. Hopefully, we can build into a maelstrom by the end of the week. Okay, so it seems like blue is interested in getting his town back but unfortunately I do not agree with that decision so Elishar can do it like so 
transfer over the nymphs so that he can defend himself. I do have Bless, Cure, Slow, that's fine. Fine. Uh, maybe I should have grabbed the Shooters as well, but that's fine. Let's go like so. Uatius can get inside. Let's grab someone new. Maybe Korvac is good, because he's got Pathfinding. And then let's immediately upgrade the Wyverns. Grab some more Wyverns. And yeah, I think that's all we need at this point. And Korbak can transfer the army back over to our Elishar, like so. And now Elishar can start heading back towards Kasmetra. Very good. Mm, Jeremy can take the fight like this, I believe. Okay. Mm, slow comes out. I do almost kill a full stack, that's funny. With my nymphs. Wow. That's amazing. Wow, wow, wow. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, and GG's. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, that's a pretty decent artifact. Don't mind if I do. And at this point, let's go for the birds, because I don't think, yeah, he recruited them. Interesting. So then we have some birds. And then Jeremy can continue pushing forward. At this point, I feel like Jeremy is the bully. Because this guy's just sitting here scared. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I feel so bad. That's a garrison. Hello. That is indeed a garrison. Ah. Guarding a utopia. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Okay. So then let's continue pushing with our Tark this way. Oh, hello. Don't really care about the Imp Cache. Oh, there's an underground with a... That's a pretty beefy artifact. Hello. Lion's Shield. Beautiful. Mm, so where am I going to next? Let's have another quick look in terms of what we can see. So we're over here. It seems like there's some island over here. There's some sort of peninsula over here. That Not a peninsula, like a... I don't know what you call this, a bay. Mm, so, what is Casmetra doing? Is this another dead turn for Casmetra? I really hope not. Mm, she could go for the Naga Bank, I suppose. Alright, let's do that then. How do I want to take this like so? Okay. Um, my cast is going to be most likely a frost ring over here. So then let's slow them down. That's a pretty decent frost ring here. Then I believe we can do better. Definitely feel like we can do better with our frost ring right now. Hmm, how does this look like? That's decent. So then let's defend and then wait again. Not quite the four frost ring that we want. That's still a three stack. I realize how futile this is. Well, that's somewhat of a decent... Ah, uh, fine, let's start frost ringing because it's going to take forever otherwise. Um, I believe at this point I can hit twice you. Okay, that's amazing. Okay, and then I believe this is another frost ring, and then let's brawl this guy down. Alright, GG's. And we can immediately go for the Naga Bank. 
I believe my cast is going to be Magic Arrow, and then I'll move away. And then all I need to do is just Magic Arrow and run. <laughs> Riveting gameplay. Absolutely top-edge gameplay. <laughs> God, I feel so bad. <laughs> oh, it's just bullying. Top-tier bullying right now. Absolute top-tier bullying. Um, let's continue pushing this way. Tark is doing what exactly? I mean, I don't think landing over here is interesting. I think I can. I have to come around so I can land over here. I do not have Expert Earth. Kesmetra does. Okay, let's have a look again. You know, let's go around like so. I think we have to go around like this. Let's keep going to the left so that we can explore a little bit more before docking. That extra bit of wood is great. Okay, and then Cassiopeia, it's time for you to head out as well. Mm, so what can we build before the end of this week? So we can do... Day 3, day 4, day 5, and then day 6. Hmm, so we're definitely on track to being able to build another Maelstrom, interestingly enough. That is interesting. But unfortunately we cannot build a boat this turn then. Could... Do we have any resources available over here? Not really. Okay. Well, time to trade away some more resources, I suppose. Definitely don't need all these crystals. I'll keep the sulfur. And that's good enough. Right, before we leave, I believe I want to recruit some more Nixes. And I think that's fine. And we'll get some more shooters as well. Okay, get a boat and let's go. Okay, we can explore this way, that's fine, and we can end our turn. Okay, I wonder if blue has another town, interestingly enough. Right, I suppose since I have three towns, there is a possibility that blue has one, because it's one, two, and three. Well, that's interesting. By the way, the stats for the tan is starting to look pretty beefy. Interesting. Okay. Tan is definitely growing, which is concerning. I think I'm going for these trolls, for sure, so let's do that. Um, slow them down. Defend, and I don't think I'm moving in immediately with my angels, so I'll defend, and I'll wait. The nymphs can kill a full 5 stack, that's interesting. Um, so then I believe angels are killing these and these. They don't reach, so then the birds can finish them off. Okay, at this point I feel like that's GG, okay. Well that wasn't very hard. Grab the ogre club, which is amazing. We're up to 38 attack. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Yeah, Jeremy is just an unstoppable force at this point. He's absolutely unstoppable. Let's do it like so. And a glorious victory against the Elmore. Okay, his stats are pretty non-existent, I should say. Death Ripple kills my angels, funnily enough. Weakness, slow, shield... My magic arrow kills an entire stack, so who do I want to kill? That's funny. And my angels also kill almost an entire stack. For most of these creatures. And I believe I'm killing off the nomads, because they have the most health. 
and the nymphs don't reach so let's get rid of the acids or the storm birds I should say and then I believe I wait I wait 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 the angels are definitely not gonna die I believe I want to get rid of his cannon that would be pretty stupid actually so then let's get rid of the shooters 21 nymphs. Okay, yeah, I definitely should have gone for the cannon, actually. So let's do that. Yeah, the cannon does a lot of damage, so I have to be careful about that one. And I believe I'm shooting... I'm not sure who I'm shooting, so let's wait. And then let's get rid of the cannon. And let's shoot you down. And I'll defend, defend, defend. And the nymphs can finish off the rogues. And the stormbirds can finish them off. And, and I believe that's GG's, right? Mm, yeah. Shoot, defend, defend, defend. And GG's. Okay. That was a lot better. Ogre shield. Interesting. And we have the Ogre Club as well. Could we potentially build the Ogre Fist, I wonder? Interestingly enough. That would be that would be pretty awesome. Um we can go for the Vampire Lords, something that was keeping the other guy back. <laughs> so these vampire lords were giving him the scare, huh? Well you shouldn't be scared about these undead creatures, you know? They can barely do you any harm, you see? See? They can't even reach you. Come on, and he was scared about this? Aw, oh, man. <laughs> Such a troll. <laughs> Let's get rid of you. And that's the GG's. Wait. And at this point, it's game over. Okay. Very nice. Let's grab the sulfur mine. And I believe I want to make myself fast over here. So let's do that. Okay, yep, yeah, that's good. Seems like the blue is running away over here, so then Korbak can get into a boat, I suppose. Yeah, let's do that. So then let Elishar... How far up does he reach? I mean, far enough. So then let's move up. Kesmetra can continue pushing for the School of Magic. I think the flies can finish off an entire stack, yeah. So bless is my cast. And I believe I kill you, and then I slow. And then that's pretty much GG's at this point. Do these reach? They don't. And Q, enter. Lovely. I believe I'm going for spell power, which is good. And then let's go for the Nixes immediately. Do I wish to retreat? Is that a joke? Are you trying to joke with me, <laughs> game? <laughs> you think I'll retreat? You make me laugh. And I believe it's time to frost ring right now. There we go. And then we can move on back. Okay, that's a lo another lovely frost ring. Goodbye. And at this point, we can just magic arrow him. Okay, GG's. Not too shabby. We continue forward. Another attack skill from the Scholar. How far can Elishar reach, actually? Let's have a look. Actually, he can reach quite far. So that gives us another 400 moves. So that's... 1, 2, 3, 4... Just over here somewhere. Okay. Okay, that's good enough. Sylvia can continue to explore. Can I land over here? Uh, where can I land? Hello. Tark continues to push forward. Let's go for the shipwreck, which is good. Lovely. Still Eye of the Dragon. Sea Serpents. 
What are you guys guarding? Hello. Mood for a fight. Unfortunate. Some extra resources, which is lovely. Even more resources, which is amazing. Let's continue by building up the nest. And we can build up the castle over here. Four, five, six. And I hope to build up the capital next turn. So I think I'm, what I'm doing over here is going to be giving Korvac some army so that he's strong enough to defend himself. And then I believe Korvac is going to chase after the blue. Yeah, let's do it. I think I just want to finish or put blue out of her misery. How many moves does that leave me? 154, so let's do it. I lose, interestingly enough. Okay, so they have air elementals, it looks like. Yikes, well that was... That was definitely a bad decision by me. Okay, yeah, there's no way I can beat this. Maybe I can kill his gnolls, interestingly enough. Let's see if I can finish off his gnolls. Let's hope we have just enough to get rid of his gnolls. Defend. Okay, so far so good. Okay, yeah, he just starts lightning bolting me. That is not good. Okay, and there goes my last of my gnolls. So then it's GG's at this point. Okay, fine. Whatever. That's fine. It is unfortunate, <laughs> but it's good to know that she is a strong hero. Verdish. But we're going to slowly start chipping away the gnolls. But unfortunately, she does have some extra gnolls to get from there. She decides to attack Elishar. I think he's in trouble. <laughs> yeah, for sure. He's definitely in trouble. Mm, can I land here? I can. Not visions. I'd like my view earth, please. Thank you. I can land here for a crystal mine, or I can continue exploring up. I think exploring up is the better option. A whirlpool. Mm. Unfortunately, I don't have any throwaway army with me, so I'm not quite ready to go for the whirlpool. The lighthouse is interesting. What's this? Ooh, I think this is interesting. I definitely want to grab the extra frigate. I will do that. I will most definitely do that. Oh my god, that was an easy fight. Thank you. And then I believe I'm not building anything else, so let's continue. And blue is coming towards our town. More troubling news. War has broken out against between again between Arathia and Yofol. Also, strange cities with golden domed castle have begun appearing out of thin air all across the continent. Casmetra thinks this is an invasion by the elemental lords. One of these cities appeared in the northern region of the archipelago. They have probably been attracted by the power of the Horn of the Abyss and hope to acquire it. Right. Oh, that is interesting. That's really good storytelling, by the way. Huh. Alright, so these are the Elemental Lords who are trying to take the Horn from us. Or from Darjim, I should say. Depending on where Darjim is. I think he might be over here. There's a pink mine that's been taken. So Darjim might be on this island, interestingly enough. I think I'm going to continue on with my Jeremy. Let's grab the army. Let's keep pushing forward. Extra knowledge is amazing. Someone's going to be coming out of this portal, which I do not like. Uh, do I wish to engage? Yes, I do. And then can I end my turn here? I think I can. So let's do this again. All right. Hopefully no one attacks my Jeremy, and my Jeremy doesn't just die immediately. Euasius can get back inside. 
and then hopefully he's able to defend himself, otherwise we're going to be in a world of trouble. We don't have any offensive spells to cast, which is disappointing. I believe building up a castle is definitely important. Is there any other heroes that I can get, potentially? No and no. Well, that's a shame. We can continue... Oh, hello! There's a tavern over here. That is definitely useful. I think it's time for Elishar to transfer over the Wyverns. Yes, please. Thank you. And now, I believe this army is all I need for Castmetra to do anything at this point. That is a garrison. But I don't think it's going to be any match for my Castmetra. <laughs> oh my god, this is just insane. She's just bulldozing through everything. Project Bulldozer is a commence. Okay, so they all decide to move in. I believe at this point, let's move back. They definitely won't be reaching with my slow, so slow is my next cast. And then I wait, wait. I believe I will be brawling these lizardmen, so let's do that. That's beautiful. Amazing stuff. And let's start meteor showering some of these. Oh my god, I kill a full stack of 30. That's absolutely insane. And then we can immediately go in for the hit here. And then the wyverns can get rid of these. And then we wait. We still haven't lost a single unit, which is awesome. And then I believe I defend. That's a pretty decent frost ring. Or does the meteor shower hit all three? Uh, th so then I think I'll go for the Basilisks. Get rid of you, and GG, my friends. That was just too easy at this point. Okay, and we continue. I'll defend, and I'll wait, and then I'll move in immediately. Okay, not too shabby. Can I get into a boat this turn? No, I'm definitely not close enough. So I need to go up here and then grab a boat. And then maybe push towards this island and go for the castle town. I think that's going to be my my move. Since I'm not going to be reaching a boat. Okay. Yeah, let's clear the ice elementals if we have enough moves, hopefully. Hopefully we can do this. Um, Sylvia can grab another hero, Annabelle or Gion. I believe Gion, because he's a more, he's a better throwaway hero. Sylvia can continue pushing on down. Oh, hello. Two-way entrance, that's interesting. Cassiopeia can continue pushing this way. Oh, hello. Oh, that's really good. We can do this immediately, actually, for some extra sea serpents. That's a really good objective. Okay, um, Tark can grab the shooters. Maybe I shouldn't have grabbed them, but it's fine. Then where to next, I believe, I wonder. So what am I building next? Day 5, day 6, and then something else. Day 7 It's going to be a citadel. Capital is not quite affordable just yet. I just need a little bit of gold, then I can afford the Tower of the Seas. So then let's do that. And then I think it's the same case here as well. I just need a little bit of gold to be able to afford them. So then let's do it like so. Okay, it seems like I still don't have enough cash. In which case, maybe it might be a better idea to go for a citadel, actually. Because I don't think I'll be able to build up two maelstroms by the end of this week. I'll definitely be building one maelstrom over here, but I don't think I can afford two just yet. So let's go for a citadel, and then we can end our turn.
Hopefully we can defend the town. That's amazing. Good stuff. Thank you very much. And lovely. That was easy. Blue has been vanquished. Goodbye. Oh, right. Right, right, right. She wasn't even able to cast anything. Because the, the castle towers were able to just kill them. Kill the gnolls. Before they got to move. <laughs> I feel so bad. I'm so sorry, Blue. Just got rid of the Tatalian forces. Like nobody's business. Sylvia can go through here. Oh, I see. Okay. Is there any more portals? There isn't. There's the arms of the Legion. I wonder if there's a Legion... Statue of the Legion if I can build up into. That would be interesting. Hmm. Let's continue exploring. Good stuff. Let's take this fight. Forgetfulness, I don't think is going to be available against these guys. Yep, as guessed as much. So then I believe Meteor Shower is my cast. Yep. And then I believe I wait, and then I wait. Okay, they're all going for the flies, which is great. I believe I'll defend, and I'll move in. And then I'll shower, and I'll wait. I'll move down. Move away. And then we res the flies. And then get rid of you. Oh my god, I I wanted to move in with my wyverns. That's a mistake. I'll move you back. Let's res you again. And then let's finish these off with the wyverns. And defend and GG. Okay, that was definitely more expensive than I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be, but it's fine, I suppose. It leaves me with 600 moves. Um, could I get a summon boat over here somewhere? Looks like I could grab a boat here, but then I'm not too sure. It is day six at this point, so then I mean, I s the sooner I can get into a boat, the better. Okay, I can get a boat here. But that only leaves me with 32 moves. That sucks. Suppose I'm going for the bow then. Um, let's just grab the resources actually. Interesting. Well, that was a mediocre turn, I feel like, from Casmetra. That's okay. Grab the ore. Let's move up. Still can't see the Darjum. Where the hell is Darjum? We can flag this, but not take it. We can go for the green dragons and the archangels. What are, What the hell are you guarding? Some gems. Are you insane? Why would I go for archangels for some treasure chests and gems? That's absolutely insane. insane. Okay, here we go. There's an anti-magic garrison, most likely um, our boy Darjim is going to be through here. Interesting. Okay. Elshar can continue taking some resources for some gold. Gion can also do the same. Hello. Bunch of arc devils over here. Okay. Cassiopeia continues to explore this way. Oh, we got another Utopia. Hello. Wow. So this is probably one of the first things that we should be doing, interestingly enough. Uh, maybe Tark can push for that, actually. Yeah, let's do it that way. Uh, okay, so then let's get Tark to push this way. So that we can simultaneously have a look at what's underground. Oh, oh, hello. We need a red tent. Do we have a red tent anywhere? Nothing over here. I believe I'm visiting the lighthouse and then I'm immediately going in for the Utopia. In which case, Cassiopeia has some reinforcements. 
does Tark have resurrection? He does not. Okay. Mm, not sure if Tark can take this fight without a good offensive spell casting. It is day six, then I am ready to build the Maelstrom next day. Hmm, capital. Let's go for economy. That's good. And then I believe... I'd like to build a roost day six and then build the next fort the next day. But I'd like to go for the Tower of the Seas as well, maybe. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like Nyxes are more valuable at this point. Then I definitely can't afford it right now, unfortunately. Three thousand for the Tower of the Seas. Hmm. And what's my income, by the way? Nine K, so I could probably still make it into a Maelstrom tomorrow. All right, well, let's go for the tower. Um, it is what it is. The trading rights are really rough, by the way. Oh my god. Darjum's raiders attacked our supply ships and vanished into the night. Well, yikes. Can we still build into a maelstrom, I wonder? We have just enough resources, so we just need gold. So I need to double my gold before the end of the day. Can my sailors do it? Can my sailors find me the much needed resources? Okay, so far so not so good. Mm, Casmetra, I think it's time for you to... 1500 moves. Master Genie is into the gold. I definitely need that gold right now. So let's get the gold. Whenever you guys decide to move, I'll be ready. Okay, does this guy reach? No, he doesn't. Defend, defend, wait, wait. And I believe I kill, kill, right? Right, kill, kill, and move down, and kill. Okay. And I believe I'm going to be moving up, and my wyverns can wait. Good stuff. And defend and kill. I don't mind losing one fly, that's fine. Because I definitely need to start saving my spell points. I'll go over here and I'll summon a boat, and we go. Okay, so then Sylvia can continue exploring down here. Okay, it looks like we could have built a boat over here. Let's continue exploring. That's good. Jeremy can go for the halflings. That's fine. Oh, hello. Stables. That's definitely useful. Ooh, hello. An equestrian gloves and a shield and a sword. Wow, that's quite the package, actually. Um, I'll most definitely be interested in that one. That's fine, thank you very much. I'll continue going for spell power. Elishar can grab some extra crystals and some extra gold. Amazing. Okay, we're up to 10k, which is pretty good. And we still have two heroes to move with. Can Cassiopeia grab me some gold? Nothing over here. Okay, that's a little bit of gold. Now, Tark, everything is up to you, my friend. I think this is beatable. And I have Expert Wisdom. Expert Wisdom for a level 5 spell. 
I wonder if it's worth it. I don't think it is, so I'm just gonna move forward. As much as we can. And then we're gonna go for the Beholder Sanctuary and then land over here. Okay. So what can we build this turn? I definitely feel like Maelstroms are pretty important. How many will be will I be missing out on? Two. How many Nixes will I be missing out on? Uh, let's have a look. One, two, three. We're missing out on three. We're missing out on four Nixes compared to two Sea Serpents. Mm. It is unfortunate that I can't build them both, but it's very obvious that it's going to be a struggle to get to 15k right now. So then let's just build into the Nyx Fort right now. And then let's build up a... What would we like? A pub. Fine, let's do it. And then Fortress is going to be just doing nothing. And I believe that's the end of the turn. Okay. And we continue. Let's see, so then Tark, I believe, needs to get some extra gold before landing over here. Sylvia continues to grab us some resources and explore the waters. Okay, so far so good. Cassiopeia can meet up with her guy. Necklace of the Dragon Tooth, hello. I believe I can do the shipwreck actually. Okay. Not too bad. As long as we can move away actually. Let's get rid of you and then let's go for you. Okay, the Nexus are doing their job. I believe I should probably hit here and then move away. Oh my god, that morale is beautiful. Shoot these, and then I believe I'll draw these guys away with the Nixes. And then let's kill you. And GG's. Not too shabby. Pretty decent helm, actually. Mm, there is this black tower that I could potentially do as well. Okay, I think I'm going for the Black Tower, actually. Um, Jeremy can push for the Mercury, and let's continue exploring these lands a little bit. Because it seems like this road leads to maybe another town over here. Or is this pushing towards the Tan region, I wonder? Is this Tan? Or is this Tan? Not sure. Not entirely certain. Okay, let's have a look. Um, slowing is amazing. Let's shoot down the units who aren't slowed just yet. Okay, so far so good. And I believe that's GG. Okay. Not too shabby. I believe I want to do it like so. Okay, that's a pretty hefty Dwarven treasury. Then I feel slow. Okay, that's really good. Then let's go for the bottom stack immediately. Okay, really good. And let's go for the top stack. At this point, I feel like I need to start magic arrowing. Okay, and then I'll wait. And then I believe the nymphs can go after the ten. Yep. And the birds can reposition. The angels can go after the twenty-seven so that we can get rid of these completely almost. The birds can go for these, nymphs can finish these off, and GG's. Okay. Not too shabby. Okay, we have another frigate over here, which is awesome. 
Uh, Geon can continue exploring these lands. Some elementals. Okay, finally, Cassiopeia gets to be on the water again. And then, where am I pushing to next? The castle town, right? Yep. So then let's do that immediately. Mmm, going down here. Clear these. Let's get rid of you. Oh, GG's. That wasn't too hard. And a wood cart is not that bad, actually. Mm, how do I want to do this? Just like so. But then forgetfulness is going to be my main cast, as always. Let's go for the bottom stack. Let's get rid of you entirely. Let's move down. Okay, that morale didn't help, but I definitely don't lose any health, so which is amazing. Alright, GG's. That's another 5k gold, wow. Throng of Seamen. I believe that should be easy enough to do. <laughs> amazing. Killed 121 Seamen without any losses with this army. That's absolutely insane. And then Elishar can continue getting me some extra resources from wherever you can. And then let's continue building. You can immediately get the second Maelstrom up, which is awesome. Mm, instead, let's go for the Roost for now. And then we can go for a resource silo so that we can afford all the Maelstroms when it comes to it. And that's pretty much it, really. Okay. Um, now, the question is, can I do this without any loss as well? I could do it, but not not without losing much army, because I will be definitely losing some army. That's a pretty decent artifact. Let's go for some wood. Okay, and then Cassiopeia can... or Casmetra can land somewhere over here. Okay, let's do it. I believe my cast is going to be a slow. I'm gonna move in for these. Move up. Wait. Kill. Defend. Defend. Move. I'm gonna wait. Wait. I'm gonna kill. Move away. Defend. Do these reach the flies? No, they don't. And that's GG's. Okay, pretty good. Sylvia continues going up through the waters. Grab some of these floatsums. Oh, by the way, the extra lighthouse is definitely useful. So let's go for that. Jeremy can continue getting some experience, although it's pretty useless at this point. These guards seem pretty weak, actually, compared to the strength of my heroes. I feel like these guards are relatively weak. They definitely should have been stronger, I feel like. Because I'm just able to steamroll through the, all this without any issues. Let's f grab some more shooters, and then let's continue this way. Geon continues to... Hello! Haspid's grabbing a library. Okay. That's pretty cool. It's definitely a really good objective. That's a huge one, actually. Hello. Um, How do I want to place this one? I believe I have to be willing to lose my pirates. Then let's do that. Okay. Definitely forgetfulness comes out again. Then I believe, let's go for you. And let's move you away. Let's move you down. Let's move you over here. 
Okay, now at this point I feel like this is a pretty decent frost ring. And then we can go in for these immediately. Okay, and then it's pretty much GG's. That wasn't too hard. And we get three sea serpents, amazing, holy. Welcome my beautiful sea creatures. Welcome to my army. Alrighty. Let me get back into the boat, and I believe we can get ready for the Utopia, but not until we get some extra army, actually. So then Tark can wait over here so that he can get some reinforcements. And I believe the main reinforcements is going to be to upgrade my Nixes. Then we can go maybe go for a Maelstrom as well. Maybe, just maybe. Maybe, just baby. Stop it. <laughs> He's talking shit right now. Um, go for these packages, I suppose. If I really wanted it. I suppose Casmetra or Cassiopeia can support my Casmetra. Well, she can't really support through the Minotaurs, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, Maelstrom is over here. So then I believe I'm not building anything this turn. Because I will be upgrading into the next forts over here. And then I'll be... You know what? Let's go for a pub. So that we're not missing a day of building. And then Tark positions himself here. Let's grab an Annabelle. That's really good. That's really good. Oh my god, I really have to move like this. Are you kidding me? So then Tark can possibly position like so. Can he land this turn? Yes, he can. How many moves do I have left? 27. Okay. So then, before they do their turn, I believe I want Gion to kind of continue exploring. Okay. So far, so good. Let's have another look in terms of what the map looks like. So it seems like Gion is exploring across this island over here. Okay, and that's the tan. Okay, alright, that makes sense. Uh, Cassiopeia can grab the ore and explore a little bit forward. Cassmetra can grab the crystals. Grab the stables, which is really good. Then how do we reach this castle town? Okay, it seems like I can go this way across the shore. Okay, so then let's do that. I'm definitely going to have to be clearing the Minotaurs, so then let's do that as well. So then I'll defend, defend, I'll wait, wait. I'll kill, defend, move, defend, and kill. And GG. The Wyvern Monarchs are absolutely insane. They are a thing of absolute power and beauty. God, I love these. The Wyvern Monarchs are really awesome to play with. I really like their high speed. Move over here, defend, let's move down. I'll wait. And then it's only him who's left to be moving. So then let's kill you. And let's defend. Move over here. And then GG's. Okay, Casmetra is up to level 25 right now. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Oh no, I can't move this way. Well, yikes. Um, let's have another look. Okay, so I have to go this way then. Well... That's disappointing, but it's fine. I definitely won't be building up into... Maybe I could build up an angel. I could probably build up into angels next week. Yeah. And I definitely have a lot of wood. <laughs> That's a whole lot of wood. Psychic elementals guarding a spell scroll. That's interesting. And I believe that's pretty much it for Elshar. He doesn't have much else to be doing right now.
Jeremy can continue clearing out this island. Mm, let's go for the one that didn't get slowed. The cannon can still one shot across the map, which is just absolutely insane. Okay, the bird didn't die from three unicorns, which is pretty incredible. Defend, defend, shoot, and GG's. Not too shabby, hey? Let's continue pushing forward. Okay, so this one seems like it's gonna have to be Magic Arrow. Maybe I should have shot with my pirates, I forgot to shoot. Although I only lost three, that's that's pretty awesome. Um, and then I defend, wait, and shoot. And I kill, defend, and GG. Alright, we saved one nymph, let's go! Grab this, and then let's grab another defense, because why not? Not sure there's much left off this island over here at this point. Okay, so Annabelle is grabbing this, leaves me with 700 moves. Then I believe she should be able to make it back. I'm not carrying the firebirds with me. She can go for this, and then get back into the town. Which is amazing. And then we're gonna first upgrade the Nixes. Grab the remaining Nixes. We're up to 12. The shooters are gonna be pretty good in terms of support. So then, what else am I getting? Am I building into the Maelstrom immediately? You know what? Sure, let's do it. And we'll grab the extra Sea Serpent and. Finally, we're just going to grab some of these crewmates as well, because they're pretty tanky. And then we're going to grab another hero. Gerd is fine. And then Gerd can return the army over to our Tark. Pretty awesome. I don't think I care about losing the Firebird in the uh, Utopia. So then I believe this is my army, and then I can immediately push for the Utopia. So my Tark can go in immediately. Oh my... Huh. Well then. Well then. I'm not too sure if I can beat this, actually. I mean, what's the strongest cast that I have? I do have Implosion, which does 2500 damage, actually. You know what? Let's just do it. I think it should be fine. Um, Gerd can head on back inside to grab some extra Nixes. Cassiopeia can grab the extra resources. Okay, Dread Knight's guarding a gold mine. Okay. And then we can go for a second Maelstrom immediately. Mm, you know what? Sure. Let's just do it. Let's just get it out of the way. And then I believe we end our turn. Okay, so at this point Cassiopeia is doing this. Casmetra is moving this way because we found out it doesn't go this way. And we can replenish our spell points. And then move up this way. Oh, is this what I think it is? It is! It's the red key tent. So then I can come in here. Okay, so we found what we want to do next. And I believe I want to fight this immediately. Or maybe not. Maybe not immediately. Let's go for the town first, and then we can come back for this later. Sylvia can explore this island for me a little bit more. Earthquake, okay. Boots of polarity with the hut of the magi. Okay. 
yeah, it seems like this island is pretty much complete. So then, where is our Darjim? I think our Darjim... To reach our Darjim, I have to go this way, it seems like. Okay, so it looks like I don't think Darjim is coming out of his town. It looks like his town is over here. It has to be at this point. Let's confirm it. Because so I did see the pink crystal mine. Yeah, I definitely think Darjim is over here, and it doesn't look like he is coming out right now. So it seems like he's just holed up, and he wants to defend his Horn of the Abyss. Okay, awesome. So then it's just going to be all about the army build-up, I feel like, this particular um, campaign or scenario. Which is fine. It just depends on how much the enemy army is also going to be building up. So it feels like, as long as the elemental lords are also giving us a decent challenge, then it should be fine. Otherwise, it's just going to be another power trip, this one. <laughs> But we're just gonna, we're definitely gonna have fun with it. And we definitely are, because we're being super aggressive right now. So that's a dead, that's a dead, and we go back, and that's a GG's. Defend and shoot. It's another 6k gold, which is beautiful. Now at this point, Jeremy is pushing back for some extra army, and maybe I can explore these ways. Explore up here as well. Okay. Let's do that. Gion, in the meantime, is exploring for us. Okay, so far so good. And Gerd is capturing the rest of the Nixes. And finally, Tark, it's time for him to move in for the Utopia. Alright. Alright, oh, this is the Earth Ground. So that gives me expert res, I think. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that just makes it even easy, even more easy. Alright, that should be straightforward enough. Especially with my Nixus, I feel like I should be able to beat them easily. Let's move up. Actually, I want to move these to the edge so that they don't get attacked immediately. Nixes go here. I don't care about my shooters. Okay, something like this is fine. Okay, well there goes my birds. Mm hmm. Maybe I should have positioned the birds to the bottom. Actually, that positioning wasn't great. So the birds stay there. Um, uh, my... Wingman can hang out over here, and the Nixus can go inside. So then we start. Okay, so far so good. This is a pretty good spread over here, so then I believe Meteor Shower is really good. So that should kill all three of these guys comfortably. And let's do that. One gets resistance, which isn't good. I do a pretty decent amount of damage, actually, which is, which is helpful. And he immediately gets poisoned, which is amazing. Makes us do some damage. And we unfortunately don't kill just yet. Okay, so I lose one Sea Serpent. Definitely need to start working on my Resurrections at this point. Um, how many health, how much health does he have? One. He has one health remaining. So let's get rid of you. And then let's go for you. Nixus can strike twice, and then that goes, there goes another crystal. That's pretty good. And now we start rezzing. So then I believe we're going to start with our Sea Serpents. I believe I'm taking the retail off of the largest one, which is this one. Let's go for you, and then let's go for you as well. 
Okay, sea serpents survive. So then I believe it's time for me to res my crewmates back. These guys are almost dead. So then I wait. My Nixus can take one retail off of one of these. Then let's do this guy. Let's go in here. That morale was awesome. And let's kill you entirely. Okay, my crewmates are taking the hits. So let's res one more creature, which is going to be... The Nymphs. Or the Firebirds. I don't care about the Firebirds. Let's get our Nymphs back. How much damage do I do? I don't kill on average, I don't think. So I believe the Nixes definitely do kill on average. Oh, they don't. Interesting. I definitely go for the kill here. And then I believe I am defending. And then defending again. Okay. It's good. Wait, wait. Nymphs can take the hit, and then I believe I'm taking res on my crewmates or nymphs. I believe crewmates because they are a lot more tankier. So then let's do it like so. Okay, and that's GG. Not too shabby. And we can immediately push for the Utopia. Let's go. That is awesome. That is pretty amazing. Um, and my crewmates can be split into like so. And Cassiopeia can continue exploring a little bit over here. Okay. Alright. And what else am I building this turn? Mm, I don't think there's much else left to be building. Yeah, I think we're done with these two towns. All I left all that is left is the castle, which can be easily done. I don't think I care about this. Probably I should get my Elishar into a boat. Maybe that's the next best thing to do. Okay, so then let's do that. Let's get Elishar into a boat immediately. And we can end our turn. Ooh! We have a tan over here. Interestingly enough. Seems to be wandering the waters a little bit. Curious. I believe what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Utopia fight, and I think that'll be a pretty decent place to end this turn. Or end this um, episode. Um, hopefully I should be strong enough to take this fight. I do have one resurrection, right? How much does a res cost? It costs 16, so I do have one res. Hmm, it is a small one. Okay. Seems like the one res will be used on the Sea Serpent. Let's see if we can do this fight without losing a Nyx. Okay, I'm definitely not casting anything. That is unfortunate. So at this point I feel like I should take the Retaliation using the Crewmate at this point. So then let's do that. Who should I take the retail off of, though? The green or the gold? Um, gold dragons are pretty menacing. And also the greens. Um, I think I'm going for the greens first. I'll defend. I'll defend. Then I'll wait here. Okay, that was a pretty good luck, actually. It's pretty amazing. And then we're gonna stab you again. Oh, that morale was amazing. Can we kill the dragons? Amazing, that was awesome. That was a really good turn. That was a really good turn. So then I feel like I should probably take the retail because I'll be resing my serpents, right? So then I should probably take the retail here or to the gold dragons. You know what? Go for the gold dragons at this point. 
And then let's stab you. Okay. So far so really good. And then I believe I am hitting the red dragons. Oh my god, that morale. Okay, at this point it's just easy. And then the green red dragons are dead. And now I can hit res and hit again. And GG's. Very nice. EZ for our boy Tark. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Well, that's a utopia. And that is indeed an artifact. Orb of Vulnerability. Holy. Holy Mother of God. I got a Wizard's Well as well. Oh my god. That is absolutely insane. That's two combination artifacts that I got out of the Utopia. So in total, how many artifacts did I get in total? So I got two, one, one, two, three, four, five. And then I got six, seven. I got seven artifacts from that one Utopia. Which is insane. <laughs> well, don't mind if I do. Thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate it very much. I believe we can equip the wizards well immediately. And then, I don't care about that. We can go for the cuirass. And then we can equip the admiral's hat as well. Okay. That is indeed a beautiful Tark. Do I reach this 1200 moves? How many moves do I have? 1800. So I can just stay here. Because I will be replenishing my mana uh, next turn. Okay. Alright then, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's a pretty decent spot to end this episode. <laughs> that was definitely a doozy. Our Tark is absolutely wonderful. And thank God for the, the, the terrain as well. Because otherwise we wouldn't be able to use Resurrection. And yeah, it seems like Kesmetra is making her way into the castle town. And we should soon be able to push towards the Tan region and hopefully get rid of the next AI. And then all that remains is Darjum at that point, who Jeremy will be swiftly taken care of. Awesome. Alright then, thanks very much guys for watching and hope you guys join me in the next one. Peace.